say we have a, uh, already have a frag plug that we've been growing or zoanthids on, and this one's got a bunch of uh, blue tubs on it, and you really want to be particular about where you want to cut them because, you know, blue tubs are pretty decent coral, and unlike just general palithoas, you don't want to just slice into them and lose a bunch of them. So what we'll do is we'll take the dremel tool and we'll slowly and individually cut out a single pieces, uh, single polyps. And looks like here I'm only going to be able to get a group of about four. So we'll cut out this group of four and then this group of two. And then we'll glue those on the individual frag points. You want to be careful to try not to cut into the base of the zoanthus. Once I've got a pretty good cut there, I'll dip it just to make sure get all the ceramic dust out of it. Looks like I'll be able to run another line up the side. should be about enough and we should be able to snip that piece clean. Just like that. And there's our four little tubs. And next we'll get this little group right here of uh, let's feel one, two, three, four, five. Two little cuts, we ought to be able to just snip that little area right off. Just like that. And then we'll take our frag pieces and clean them off a little bit. Add a little bit of glue. I like using ceramic gloves because yeah, they stay white longer and they look much neater. And plus, once you get around to fragging them again, You'll be able to cut it much easier than just your standard rock. Dab a little piece in the middle. Set our rock on top. I like to kind of twist it around, make sure we get it all filled in. And then set it back in the water. You don't have to skimp on that glue. Make sure it's good and on there and your plug will be set and you won't have to worry about it falling off or breaking off. <laughs>